morning YouTube. I'm in the truck and the trailer is behind us. We are on the way to go look at a truck, potentially our next project. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. So yeah, we got another project truck, boys. Pretty stoked, uh, about to load it up. And uh, I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'll keep y'all updated. I'll, um, I'm pretty stoked. I'll show you later. This thing is super rad. I'll give you one little sneak peek. Just got our homeboys. And let me tell you, check this out. She is minty. Ooh, once I get off with the trailer, I'll do a little more walk around. Ready? Boom. Check this thing out. 1986 Ford F-150, four wheel drive, has a 351 in it. And one of the coolest parts is it has a wiggly stick. This thing is super, 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 super rad. Has a ranch style uh, front bumper, worn locking hubs, a little bit of actual rust rust on the hood, kind of flimsy right there, but super clean interior, nice seat, good weather stripping. Love the blue interior. Check this out. One of my favorite parts of this truck. That right there. Nice pouch holder and gun holder. May have to put that in cherry in my 66. Light turns on. Ton of part, tons of parts in there. Go four speed. It's in gear so I won't move. 36,000 original miles. This was a farm truck. So I didn't get in, but it didn't it didn't get on the highway a lot. Trailer brake, super super clean interior. Like dash isn't even cracked. No no uh rear view mirror, which is kind of weird, but a little bit of surface rust up here. Has the dual tanks. Pretty rad. I think it's on 31, uh, 1050s, yeah. She's mint. Let's see, does tailgate open? Wait, maybe? Hold up. Tailgate does indeed open. Pretty rad, pretty rad. Man, this thing is killer. Has a couple, has a few parts in there in bags, some motor, some motor oil, some coolant. That's an old logo. Who knows how long that's been in there. Weather stripping still good on this side. That needs to be replaced since it's kind of faded, but cracked grill bezel right there, but that's what LMC and National Parts Depot's for. This thing is rad. Heck yeah. Let me pop the hood. Come on. All right. Since this is an 86, it's the first year of the uh, 
fuel injection, so that's pretty cool. All the original little stickers. I guess the battery used to be there, now the battery's over there. Check out that horn. So the guy said it didn't start, but um, it doesn't run. But we turned it over and it does want to turn over. So we're going to give it another shot. up it's next day got some doritos got my beanie to put in here got some new tools sorry the light they got some new tools gonna be pressure washing the 86 thing i'm gonna call her old blue not sure maybe just blue then like call her old blue i don't know i haven't figured out a name yet but let's go wash her up Here's a little walk around of what she looks like before. Very filthy. The tires have moss on them almost. Like all that green stuff. Filthy, filthy, filthy. I'm just gonna pressure wash it first. Then I think my dad's gonna get a, a tarp to put under there. Then we take the wheels and tires off, put it on jacks, and just absolutely pressure wash the crap under the entire just bed cab do the whole frame and get spray some degreaser on it and just let it soak for a couple hours but first i'll wash and see what i can do this piece of crap still isn't moving i hate mustangs there you are Looking pretty good so far, man. Got all the down and grime, the some of the moss off. I don't know what we're gonna have to do about this. Probably buff some of that out. Maybe take some steel wool or something. Oh yeah, looking a lot better. Especially when you compare it to this, to that. Oh yeah whole lot better look at that difference holy cow that's insane would you look at that that are all shined up Pressure washed her completely. Got all the moss off. For the most part, got it pretty clean. Heck yeah. Started to clean out all the interior and found this original delivery paper. Check that out. 50. Oh wait, a 351 isn't a 5. It's a 302. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Super rad though. Also came with more papers I'll show you in a second. Look at all these original papers. 
Flushes them. We are still figuring out why that's burnt, so. Oh, look at that dash cover. That's minty. Brand new spark plugs, all that came with this. Random picture, but who knows where it's from. Try to start. Yeah, one second. Ready? Now the real question is we paint those steel wheels white or throw these wheels on them. These old wagon wheels and paint those white. Don't know what I want to do yet, but hmm, decisions, decisions. That's gonna wrap up today's YouTube video. Um, got the truck home, got it, super fun truck, pretty rad. We need to pull the, uh, we, are not, we haven't decided if we want to pull the motor or not because we obviously got to run, but there's still some fuel problems since it was the first year fuel injection. We're kind of on the fence. Do we want to put an aftermarket EFI kit on it or ditch the fuel injection and just put a different intake on it and go four barrel carburetor? We don't know yet, but thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Peace out.